Hello and welcome to the Global Fashion Workshop channel. I remind you that we release a new video three times a week. Today we will make a fourth circle skirt. You may be asking, well, who doesn't know how to cut a fourth circle skirt? Irina Mihailovna is joking with us. No, I am not joking. Today we will make not just an interesting skirt, but a very interesting and fashionable skirt. The important thing is that we will learn how to think about all the technological steps beforehand. So, it will be just a pleasure to work with us. The sketch is in front of us. We will make an asymmetrical fourth circle skirt with buttons on the side. These are our beautiful white buttons. Our skirt will fasten on the side. The good thing about it is that you can fasten these buttons in the back as well as in the front. Do what you like. Well. With the asymmetry, we can't put buttons in the back. If you want to make a closure in the back, make a straight hem like this, without a tail. So it can be on the side, it can be on the back, but the longer part cannot be on the front. If you want to make buttons on the back, you should do it completely straight. And we'll do the closure on the side, or a little bit here on the hip. Because our buttons will not be until the very end. Here we will make a little split, or vent, to show a little bit of skin. We have talked recently about this topic, showing some skin. Look at the sketch. It's the fourth circle skirt. Here, we've got some wonderful mother of pearl, white French buttons. We use white French buttons in this summer season. I prepared the fabric from a corner any corner, I reinforced the edges with 4 cm strips of interfacing fabric to both sides. Here's a 4 cm of fusible interfacing, and here's also 4 cm. I folded and pressed it. So I haven't just pressed the fold on both sides, it is stabilized with the interfacing. It can be any fabric, it doesn't have to only be striped. Here, if our fabric stretches crosswise a little bit, like this, the fusible interfacing will stop it from stretching. And now we have everything fused and pressed. 4 centimeters here and 4 centimeters there. This is the button placket of the skirt. These are the folds for the buttons and the buttonholes. So we don't have to calculate it all later and waste our precious time. We've prepared it all before. Now we fold and lay it flat on the bias. When you see the skirt, you will really want it because of how quickly it's made. Here there will be buttons. The button placket is 4 cm. That is why we will leave 2 cm on each side for the overlap. Now I will tell you what you should pay attention to. It is one thing to cut a fourth circle skirt, stitch one seam, insert some fastener and so on. But we're going to do it with buttons. That is why we have some other things to consider. You understand now how nice it is to prepare everything beforehand. Now, from where do we measure our skirt? Our skirt doesn't start here where the edge is, that is our side seam, but 2 cm before the edge. Like this, one stripe is 2 cm. Our skirt doesn't start here, but here is our calculation. Here, this would be the side seam, but we have 2 cm on this side and 2 cm on this side for the overlap closure. Our line doesn't reach the edge. You know what? I'm going to put some pins here so it is easier for you to understand. And now I'm going to tell you how to construct and find the radius. Here. No, it doesn't work. It doesn't matter what fabric you choose for the skirt. It's important that we make the fold 4 cm, leaving the 2 cm for overlap. And here is where our calculation starts. 
how to calculate the radius for a fourth circle skirt. My waist circumference is 92 centimeters. So, I have to imagine a circle more or less like this. How do I calculate the radius? So, I have one fourth of a circle. It's 92 centimeters. So, I've got 92 centimeters here, 92 centimeters here, 92 centimeters here, and 92 centimeters here. From which circle should we calculate the radius? We multiply 92 by 4. The result is 368 centimeters. The total circumference is 368 centimeters. Now, we have to divide 368 centimeters by 2 pi, which is 3.14 multiplied by 2. We divide 368 by 6.28. This equals to 58.5. Now, we take the tape and check it all. Yes, from here. Let's look at this point where we have the fold. What have we got? It's 58.5 and 58.5. I have a mistake here. Now we are measuring what we've got. From this point, if our math was correct, it should be half of my waist circumference, which is 46 centimeters. And I have got 43 centimeters. I found a mistake. I should count from this point, not this edge. That is our actual angle. Here it is, because we don't count these two centimeters. My radius should have started from this point. That is why I move one centimeter down. The calculation is correct. There are no mistakes. Calculate it the same way I showed you, and you'll never make a mistake. That's right. Here I go down a little. I cut it off right away. It's a beautiful circle. Now, this is the length of the skirt allowed by the width of the fabric. It's not what I want, but what I get. But of course, I checked it before. My skirt length is 75 centimeters, and here I've got 79 centimeters on this side. I mark 90 centimeters on the other side. That side is 11 centimeters longer. Now I have to draw a nice line from here to there. 
вот туда красивой линией. Okay, I estimated it roughly. Now I'm going to look at my line here. I don't think I'll be able to draw it, but I can cut it. I've got 79, and I've got 90 centimeters there. I always trust the scissors more. Remember, interface it, press the 4 centimeter fold, calculate the radius, cut the bottom, asymmetrical or even, it does not matter. What's important is that our skirt is ready. I always say I was born with scissors in my hands, not with chalk. I'm better at cutting than drawing. So, our skirt is ready. This part will fasten on the buttons. There will be a 4 cm overlap. Mark 4 cm on this bottom side. I've put 4 cm here so we can fasten it like this. Because our 4 cm will overlap. That's how we'll do it. Here we'll have some buttons. Let's see where we'll place the buttons. Here I've got 8 buttons. I don't know how much I'll need. One button will be on the waist, one at the bottom, and after some distance we'll have some buttons again. No, 8 is a lot. One, two, three, and seventh on the waist. And here we'll have a little slit. That's how we'll do it. Mark the middle. And look at what I do next. I've prepared the waistband. It is just part of it. The middle is here. I'm going to pin it. And from the middle, I marked here 46 centimeters. That is half of my waist. And here is 46 centimeters. That is half of my waist. And remember, this mark should be 2 cm short of the edge. Those points should match. One more minute and I'll have the fitting. Sadly, the fitting will be without the buttons. This button method is very handy. It's very convenient. In fact, it's the skirt of my childhood.
In this skirt, when it's already buttoned up, the waistband has to fit exactly to your waist. I measured 4 centimeters on the inside to know where to fasten. I'll show you now. This is our skirt. Here we'll have the buttons. And here is my 4 centimeter mark. Exactly a 4 centimeter overlap. And now I'm going to measure the waist. I think it's okay. It's exactly 46 centimeters. And now I'm going to try it on. Couple more minutes and I'll have the skirt on. We need to press those edges, which we've got here, on the buttons on our white cheek buttons. And all of it will become this slit. The good thing is that you can make it asymmetrical or not asymmetrical. If the radius is calculated correctly, our skirt will fit well. It doesn't matter where the closure is. I have already checked. We can make buttons here. It's also interesting. Do you see how our stripes are laid? If you have another fabric, it'll also be interesting. You could wear it with the buttons, up front, or on the knee, or on the side. But you can't wear buttons with asymmetry on the back. This way we'll have a long front. We've forgotten the fourth circle skirt. Everything new is forgotten old. Look how perfectly it fits. It fits just incredibly. The fourth circle skirt is wonderful. I wish for you to be unique every day. Our channel will help you with it. It's time to say goodbye. Click the like button and share our videos on social media and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. Bauksta Irina Mihailovna and the rest of our team.